Hi everybody, it's Kelly, and I am bringing, oops, the weather's really bad in California. Hold on just a minute. There, I hope that's a little better. Um, it's dark over here. It's supposed to rain all week, which I'm not complaining because we really, really need the rain over here. Um, so anyways, that's not what my video is about. My video is about today the new microdermabrasion um, kit. I got myself one. Um, this is what it looks like. Of course, I got it on QVC. I think it was $129 or 179 If you look on QVC, it'll tell you. But I have never had a, any microdermabrasion done to my skin. Okay, so let me just tell you that I am not a dermatologist. Um, I am definitely not all of this stuff. I, I just kind of um, test on my face, which probably, so far I've done pretty good. I haven't run into anything that's hurt me or damaged me. Um, so... I was a little nervous about using this because I read a lot of the reviews and a lot of the reviews said, you know, oh, it scarred my face up, oh, it, it, it um, cut me, oh, it did this, oh, it did that. And I'm like, oh! So it comes with, I, I have the device out, it's not in the box, but it comes with a booklet that has a CD in it and everybody says watch the CD watch the CD so I'm I'm one of those people that open the box and want to get started right away but when I read reviews that you know hey um, this cut my face or now I have scars uh, I think I'll watch the CD so I watched the CD it was very short it was maybe 15 minutes um, and showed you how to how to um, do this thing now um, QVC, where I bought this, of course, also has somebody in a video using it. Um, so that's why I thought maybe I could open the box and do it myself. But then I thought, no, 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 no. I better, I better check this out on the video. Now you get these little. These are are like little little sanders. Um, these big ones are for your body. Now, I didn't know this when I bought it, but I, you all, you all know, I am I am like dryness. Um, everything on me is like dry. I have dry feet, <laughs> dry everything. So they said that you could use these big, um, big ones on calluses, like on your feet calluses, um, if you have rough elbows or knees. Those are what the big ones are for, and it also comes with a big um, top here. So um, I'll show you how to put that on. But the ones that you use for your face, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to take this off. So this is the small one. Let me show you the difference between the two sizes. Body, face. Um, this is the small one, and this is this. I'm trying to show you. This is the starter one. Okay, so this already comes in your device. It is what they recommend that you start with. It is for the most sensitive skin, which I do have. But even if you don't feel that you do, start with the starter just in case, um, because you don't want to be ripping through your skin with this sand. You know, this this little rough ridge here and and damage your skin so definitely because I was like oh I can go to the next one but I didn't because I got too scared <laughs> so so how this comes out is it just turns and it comes right out okay and then if you want to put the big one in it just it's very very simple and then you use of course the big top on it and it screws on and the it's the blade the little sander right here is just under this is kind of a guard to protect you so I'm gonna take that off now I, like I said I haven't tried it on my body yet 
um, but I have used it and uh, I was so impressed by it. I really, really was. It's another one like my Janu, which I know you guys are probably all getting tired of hearing about. Okay, so I'm putting this one back on. And see how it just sits right below your guard here. So, that, I'm going to put this box down. One good thing about this is it is, you don't have to charge it, okay? You have to have it plugged in, which for me, I guess is okay because you only use this every seven to 10 days. Um, no more, no less, uh, unless you feel, I guess, that your, your skin can handle it. But um, it also comes with these pamphlets. Um, this is, oh, I keep saying, um, what is with me today? This is the pamphlet of how you go about uh, microdermabrasion, brazing your face. And then this is just the, the, I don't even know why they put a quick start guide in here, because that's what I was gonna do. And then, no, don't do that with this, okay? Don't do that with this. Please watch the CD. So I'm going to plug it in. And it has a little on and off button here and it's kind of cute because the plug-in right here you have to twist it look now it's not going to come out at all it's like no well i have not unplugged it yet but supposedly oh my gosh <laughs> let's see i am so sorry you're supposed to twist this thing and take it out. Well, now that it's in, I'm not taking it out because you have to use it. It doesn't have a battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you right now how to use it. And yes, I do have a little breakout. I uh, cleaned my house this weekend, kind of spring cleaned, spring cleaned early and I didn't wash my face until later that night and yes my face retaliated which it never does so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start what I did was I started with the chin now if you notice you don't go near the part of your eyes because as you all know your eyes are very sensitive under there so I'm going to go ahead this is what it sounds like doesn't seem to be bothering my dog so and then you just take it and you're going to can you hear it suctioning now you don't go over and i just did it but you don't go over the same area twice you go quickly you don't stop you just go quickly just like i'm doing now it says that it may leave your face a little red and um, the directions say that your nose should, you know, go smoothly. Well, my nose doesn't, of course, so because maybe I have a weird nose. So then what you're going to do is you're going to do it the other way. Okay, and it, like I said, it is going to make your face a little red because it is taking the dead skin cells off of your face. I don't know. My camera is. Come on. Um, it's taking all the dead skin cells off my face and it's getting it ready for my serums, which is what I bought it for in the first place. I'm sorry for moving this. My camera is acting funny today. So then I'm just going to go over and you can see the speed that I'm taking it. I must have a weird forehead too, but it doesn't seem to want to suction. So your skin is going to be a little red. Just like if you went to an esthetician's office, okay? So that is all that I did to my face that night. I didn't go any more. Um, I can feel the tightness in my 
face right now from taking all the skin cells, the dead skin cells off. And so, and your face feels kind of, it feels really soft. So then what I do is I just go ahead and I found the IT number 50 serum. I mean, it's okay. It's a serum. But I also take my uh, rosehip oil for my broken capillaries. And I just put a little dropper into that. Maybe three drops because I cover my whole face. Capillaries are not. And I just smooth it into my skin. Okay, Kelly, you can't talk when you're smoothing. I make sure that it covers my skin totally, okay? Okay. I'm just going to, I don't want that rosehip oil spilling. So then what I do is I take my little Janu system with my Janu um, Microsphere Conducting Gel. That sounds like very technical. And you're going to place a little bit amount on that. And I'm just going to go over my face. Just like that. Now, the next morning I, when I got up, after I did this the night before, a lot of my brown um, uh, I don't know if they're age spots. I have a lot of freckles too, but I know some of them are age spots. They lightened up quite a bit. And of course they're going to because you're again, you're taking that uh, top, you know, the top layer of skin off, getting rid of all the, not getting the top layer of skin, but you know what I mean, all the dead cells over, off of your face, because if you think about it, when you go to put your serums and your, and your, and your creams on, and there's a lot of dead skin cells on the top of your face, how in the world is that stuff supposed to sink into your skin? And that's why I bought this uh, microdermabrasion kit because I thought that just with that and if you have to use your hands for the um, putting the serum in, you know, if you can't get the Janu too, that in itself is huge. I mean, because you've taken, you're taking all those dead skin cells off. And I am, I'm really impressed with this microdermabrasion kit. Like I said, I was very, very leery of using it at first because I thought I was going to have all these scabs on my skin and cuts and bleeding. I mean, some of the reviews made it sound really, really awful. Um, but I thought, you know what, if I can get those dead skin cells off, then... I can get the serum and the creams in because I noticed that when I put the serum on my face and the, you know, I use the 613 body cream from when um, on my face, when I did that, uh, the next morning my skin was so dry in here and it was like I didn't even put anything on and I'm thinking, Gosh, you know, with all the stuff that I use, I don't know what other cream I could possibly get that's any thicker than this 613 Wen, because it's thicker than, I would say it's the same consistency if you've used their 613 um, hair cleanser. But I'm using this on my face, and it's a body lotion. So I can't get any thicker than that, and I, I can't use a lot of shea on my body or I break out in a rash. That's always interesting. Um, so, once I used this last week, and I got up the next morning, my face was still moisturized. Everywhere. Everywhere. It was still moisturized. And I, I now I, I do want to tell you that I bought this with my own money. I'm not selling this product for QVC or anyone else. As you all already know, I like to bring you these reviews um, just so you can 
you know, make up your own mind uh, from someone that maybe you watch, you know, hopefully a lot. Um, I hope that I give you good, good enough reviews. Um, I'm hoping that I haven't missed anything with this microderm abrasion, um, but I am going to try it on my feet because I have calluses um, on my feet. My feet are so dry and uh, I'm just putting my 613 um, lotion on my face now. You only need, need a little bit. I get everywhere. But your skin is going to look, it, <laughs> I'm trying to talk again. Your skin is, my skin looks redder in the camera than in the mirror. Like I can barely see my little friend here sitting on by my lip. But I saw a really big difference the first time I used it, to be honest with you. Um, is it worth the price? Well, if you go to... Um, uh, a skin doctor. Uh, I can't think of, I just said it too, not too long ago. An esthetician. If you go to an esthetician and you pay uh, to have this done, yes, it's worth it. Um, if you don't and you don't have a lot of money, you can always just exfoliate. Exfoliate your face. That also takes the dead skin cells off. I guess the difference between this and exfoliating is this has a little sander so it's helping to pull because it has a suction to pull see I know you heard it on my face to pull all the impurities and the skin cells out of your um, skin which um, you know a um, scrub really doesn't do but it, I mean it, it can help for me, is this worth the price that I paid for it? Yes, because it was put on Easy Pay. Um, I got this on Easy Pay, and I can make payments on it, and then it'll be mine. But to me, for me, for my skin, as sensitive it is, and if you followed me for a while, you know how sensitive my skin is. Um, every ever since I had that perioral dermatitis on my skin. Um, because I do suffer from psoriasis, uh, my skin has never been the same. It, it was oily before that, and then it seemed like all the oil just was sucked out of my body when my skin finally healed from that. And I really wish I had pictures to show you just what my skin looked like. If you've never seen anybody with perioral dermatitis, you look like you have a disease. It's just, and you can't put makeup on. It's just the most awful thing. Um, but thank goodness that there is a way around that to get, obviously, to get your skin better. Um, so I think that's all that I wanted to say about that. Um, I hope this review was helpful for you. Um, if I missed anything that you need to know, please, please message me. I'm always looking to make sure that I'm getting all my messages and I will message you back the, you know, the answer of what, if I can answer it for you. Uh, and I'm so sorry for saying um today a lot. I don't know what the deal is with me, but I seem to like that word an awful lot. And I know when I watch other videos, it drives me crazy. So I'm sorry I said it so much. So I, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you're, there I go again. Um, if you're new, please like and subscribe to my video and leave me a comment and tell me how what you thought of my review because i i want to be you know i want you to tell me was it a good review was it a bad review did i miss things in the review please please tell me um i know my lighting is not the greatest in the background i know somebody is probably gonna message me about that i'm so sorry i hope i come out um i hope i come out in the video okay and bright so I will see you next weekend. I know I'm getting this video out late and I am sorry, but I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.